And welcome back to another Ecom Podcast with Mr. Hagen. On this podcast, we're going to look at the supply side of the market, and we are going to look at the idea of uh, supply and quantity supplied. So let's start by saying right here, I have what is called a supply schedule. This is similar to the demand schedule that we talked about before, uh, but it is a supply schedule. And when you think about a supply schedule, uh, what you're really doing is you're looking at the quantity of a good that producers will produce and bring to market at different prices. The quantity of a good that producers will produce and bring to market at different prices. So, uh, for example, let's say we're talking about uh, the good apple juice. Uh, if the price of apple juice is a dollar, then producers will bring to market, produce and bring to market one unit of apple juice per some time period. If the price is two dollars, they'll bring two units of apple juice to market, and if the price is three dollars, they'll bring three units of of apple juice to market and so forth. So that is what we call a supply schedule. How much will they will suppliers bring to market at different prices? Then we take that supply schedule and we graph it. So we want to take that supply schedule and we want to draw it on a graph. So so I've done that right here is the supply schedule and it says when the price of the good is a dollar suppliers will bring one unit of apple juice to market. When the price is two dollars they will bring two units of apple juice to market and when the price is three dollars they'll bring three units of apple juice to market. So what I did was I put a dot at each of those points, connected the dots and I have what is called a supply curve. So the supply curve is really just drawing the picture of the supply schedule. It's just drawing the picture of the supply schedule. So let's let's look at how this works. And this is very similar to the to what we did on the demand side of the market. If the price happens to be two dollars for whatever reason, if the price happens to be two dollars, suppliers, we come down here to our price and we come across to the supply curve until we hit it and then we come down and that shows us that when the price of the good is two dollars, uh, suppliers will bring two units of the good, in this case maybe apple juice, they'll bring two units of the good to market. Now the question is what happens if the price goes up? So let's say the price goes up for some reason, I don't know what it might be, but for some reason the price of apple juice goes up to $3, and when the price goes up to $3, well now we come across at $3, draw a horizontal price line across, hit the supply curve and come down. When the price goes up to $3, then suppliers will bring three units of the good to market. So here's what's happening. When the price increases over here, that causes the quantity that producers bring to market to increase down here. And this is really a straightforward idea. It, just, it simply means this. The, the more you're willing to pay somebody, the, the more they're willing to, uh, to do work, to do a job, to, in this case, produce apple juice. So so then what we would say is if we write this out, we would say that any time you get a change in the price of a good, in this case maybe apple juice, any time you get a change in the price of the good, that will cause an increase in, uh, sorry, before we say that, before we say it will cause an increase, it, it will, we'll say that in a second, but that causes us to move along the supply curve. That will cause us to move along the supply curve. So we are moving along the supply curve. Originally we were at this point right here. Price is $2. We bring two units to market. Now the price goes up to $3. We move along the supply curve to this new point right here where the price is $3 and we bring three units to market. So a change in the price in this case an increase, causes us to move along the supply curve, that's right here, and now that causes an increase in what we call the quantity supplied. That causes an increase 
in the quantity supplied. Sometimes a shorthand, I'll, I'll call that Q sub S. An increase in the quantity supplied. And that's what's happening right here. So this is a basic economic uh, concept. When you move along a curve, that is called a change in quantity supplied. Increase in the price, increase in the quantity supplied. Now, the next question is, what happens if you get something other than the price changes? And uh, we, we will deal with that on our next podcast. So thanks for joining me for another podcast. This has been Mr. Hagen, and we'll see you on the next podcast.